Reminders is probably my most used voice command as I walk around my house, seeing things I need to do or to buy, and most of the time I use my Apple Watch. But sometimes I'm not wearing it, or my arms are full, or I'm carrying a baby, and another option would be handy. If this and that is an app which links two services, there are a crazy number of services to choose from. And the basic premise is you can say, if one app does this, then the other app does that. Or if one service does this, then an app does that. For instance, if I post something to Twitter, then post it to Facebook too. It's well worth having a look through all the services and see if any suit you. But let's get started with reminders. By the way, I am doing this on an iPad just because it's easier, but it's exactly the same on an iPhone and it'll actually sync between the two. So up the top right of this screen, click the little plus button and you can get started with the this. The first service we need is the Google Assistant and choose say a phrase with a text ingredient. Here's the command that we'll be saying to the Google Home where dollar sign replaces the item you're adding to the list. You can add two optional ways of saying it and then a response. You can even choose the language. Click next in the top. Next click on that. Here's where you choose your reminders app. If you type iOS you'll see all the native iOS apps. Choose iOS reminders. There's only one option, add a reminder to list. The reminder is the text field, so that's the dollar sign from the this action. List name, I have a list called shopping. You choose a priority, click next. You can choose to receive a notification when it runs. I do not need to do that. And then click finish. So the only tricky part there is making sure you have a reminders list called shopping. And I can say to my Google Home, OK Google, add milk to the shopping list. Don't forget to buy milk. And there it is.